We have the Ethiopian National Defense Force just a short while ago issued a statement. ENDF are claiming to have killed more than 300 TPLF members who tried to enter Tigray from Sudan. Viewers. Brigadier General Tisfai Ialo of Ethiopian National Defense Forces issued a statement just a few minutes ago. He is the spokesperson of Ethiopian National Defense Forces. And he says that more than 300, 320 actually, exactly, uh, TPLF members uh, tried to enter Tigray through Humaira. Humaira is on Tigray Sudan border. Humaira is uh, being controlled by Ethiopian National Defense Forces for several months. Humaira was the first major town which came under the control of Ethiopian National Defense Forces uh, at the start of November. Since then, Humaira has been under the control of ENDF and Eritrean forces as well. Uh, Viewers, uh, Brigadier General Tisfai Ayalo says that three groups are involved in the training of TPLF and TDF members in Sudan. One group trains uh, fighters there. The other group tried to enter uh, Ethiopia from Sudan through Humaira. The third group is inside Ethiopia in, in Tigray perhaps. And he says that the group which has been killed uh, was trained in Sudan. It had close ties with Sudanese forces and it uh, tried to enter Tigray through Humaira. It was completely destroyed and satellite phones, radio transmitters and medicines have been recovered from the killed TPLF members who were 320. ENDF and Ethiopian uh, government officials are further claiming that the 320 TPLF members who have been killed are those who were involved in Maikadra massacre. At the start of November, in the second week of November, more than 600 innocent civilians were killed in Maikadra town of Kofta, Humaira, Vareda viewers. Uh, most of the kill were Amhara's viewers. It was an ethnic massacre. Back then, Ethiopian Human Rights Commission conducted an inquiry. It accused uh, a TPLF youth militia Samri. TPLF rejected this report. It called for independent international investigation into uh, my Kadra massacre. Back then, uh, in November, Ethiopian government had claimed that TPLF members who were behind uh, my Kadra massacre had fled Humaira into Sudan and they were disguised as refugees. Now the killed members are being shown as the ones who committed my Kadra massacre viewers. We haven't seen uh, extensive uh, fighting uh, on Humaira Sudan border over the past few days. We have seen some clashes between Sudanese forces and Ethiopian uh, forces uh, in some parts of Fashaga. But we haven't seen extensive clashes between uh, TPLF members and ENDF in Humaira or in the areas adjacent to Humaira on Sudan side of the border. But uh, ENDF are claiming that they have killed these 300, uh, more than 300 TPLF members in clashes uh, near Humaira. Uh, secondly, we were, uh, almost a week ago, we heard a statement given by the head of uh, Ethiopian Amhara state. He had said that uh, Sudan was training Tigray soldiers and Sudan was arming Tigray soldiers to enter uh, Tigray from Sudan. Now ENDF is saying that the trained uh, TPLF members trained in Sudan who have links with uh, Sudanese military have tried to enter Tigray from Sudan. 
I see the statement given by uh, Ethiopian National Defense Forces as a part of the larger picture of Sudan-Ethiopia relations. Sudan-Ethiopia relations are deteriorating. Over the past few days, we have seen that uh, Sudan and Ethiopia have issued very strong statements against each other. First, we heard from Sudan, which said that if Ethiopia rejected historical agreements, it would lose its sovereignty over Benishang al Guma state, which was allotted to Ethiopia in accordance with historical agreements. Uh, Ethiopia responded saying that Sudanese statement about Benishang al Gumas was very irresponsible. Then we would Sudan issued a statement against a second filling of Ethiopian under construction dam GERD. The Sudan said that the second filling of GERD without any consensus was unacceptable and Sudan would try its best to stop Ethiopia from starting the second filling of GERD. Again, then Ethiopia spoke. It said it would definitely uh, go ahead with the second filling of GERD. So tensions have been rising as uh, the date for the second filling of GERD is approaching. It's very difficult to confirm uh, the claim made by END after they have killed TPLF members on Humaira Sudan border. Uh, we haven't heard much about fighting in Humaira or uh, in Humaira Sudan border areas over the past few days. We have heard uh, about some clashes between uh, Sudanese and Ethiopian forces uh, along Sudan Ethiopia border. So it's very difficult to reject or uh, to confirm this claim, viewers. Uh, second words, uh, Sudanese foreign ministry has not issued any statement so far. In the coming hours, Sudan is expected to respond to these claims by ENDF that Sudan is arming and sending TPLF members to fight against ENDF in Tigray. I think coming days are very critical. We'll see more deterioration. Uh, of Sudan Ethiopia relations. Uh, both the countries want to exert pressure upon each other. Sudan wants to stop Ethiopia from starting the second filling of GERD. Ethiopia is not happy because Sudan has taken control of several key areas uh, in Fashag al Kubra, Fashag al Sugra over the past few months. That is why both the countries are issuing such statements. But independently, we cannot verify this claim made by ENDF. ENDF might uh, come up with more details in the coming hours about the killed 320 TPLF members. I think for watching.